What's going on gamers? Today we're going to be going over how to set up and play bridge on your Apex Minecraft server. The, the intro. Man, y'all just let me just go right by you? Jeez. Wait, actually, I thought you died. No, 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 no. Jeez. Go for it, go for it. Look at this, look at this. <laughs> wow. Uh, we're just getting demolished. Before we get into this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can stay up to date on every tutorial we upload just like this one. As you play vanilla Minecraft, learning to maneuver and fight in tight spaces is a skill that any survival player is going to need to learn. Over time, players desired a way to further hone these skills and practice in a PvP battle. Introducing The Bridge a PvP game type that has two teams fight across a bridge that is only one block wide. In order to win, a team must earn as many kills as possible, as well as jumping into the goal in the opposing base. With this game type, all of the plugins, arenas, and other tools you're going to need are going to be configured by default, allowing server owners and players to jump right into the action with just a few clicks. Baby. <laughs> no! <laughs> Here at Apex Hosting, installing a pre-made game type is as easy as doing those few clicks. We're going to go over how to do some file preparation. Now before we even touch any of our server files, what we're going to want to do is hop onto our server panel and then click on stop. Then once your server is fully offline, you can go ahead and make a backup of your server because we're going to reset the server files. Now, you can go ahead and skip this section if you don't want to back up your files. To make a backup, all you need to do is on your main server panel, click on backups and then click on create backup. Once you're ready to reset your server, all you need to do is click on reset and then click on all of the checks or just click on the one big one. Then it's going to prompt you to type in reset and then click on reset server. Once your server is still offline, scroll down to the game file selection. All we're doing here is typing in the bridge or scrolling up or down to find the bridge game type jar file. Find it, click on it, and then in the pop-up, make sure to click on change the version and make sure to use the included world. Finally, restart the server to load the server version. Here is the lobby for this specific bridge game type. This beautiful area is designed to be a giant flower covered field with many vibrant colors. In the middle of the lobby, you're going to find the main features of the server. Stuff like different tools and shops to gain cosmetics for the server. Use in-game currency earned through the game type to purchase a variety of keys. These keys can be used to unlock crates in order to earn a random cosmetic item. These vary from particle effects, specific name tags, and more. Alternatively, the statistics scoreboard can be found nearby to see your progress. Joining an arena is pretty easy too. Once you're ready to join a PvP match, navigate to the various NPCs standing on colored blocks. Some of them have 4v4, 2v2, and the names of maps. Just right click any NPC and that will send you to the matching arena. Whether the theme is pirates, a festival, and more. The PvP is pretty simple. All the players are going to be separated into their respective areas. The red team area and the blue team area. And the players are going to fight across the small bridge in order to earn the most kills and enter the portal in the opposing base to score a point. After 5 points are earned or the time expires, the winner is going to be announced. And with that, you should know how to install and how to get started with the bridge server game type. Players are going to face constant action while defending their base due to the small bridge connecting each area. In order to scale the action up or down, an arena with a different player count can be selected in order to alter the amount of players fighting at once during a match. Well, folks, that's all we've got for you today. And as always, we hope you have lots of fun. Dave, at nope. this point, he's just flexing. He's just going for the kills. He knows he can score. <laughs> <laughs> but he's just going for the play. There's no 
chat we're gonna win. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.